This video is sponsored by DisabilityQuotes.com. They have been helping residents and also practicing physicians find the right type of disability insurance for the past 20 years. This is a type of insurance that ensures that your income continues in the event that you cannot continue practicing medicine. It's important. So important that I personally have disability insurance. Click on the link below in the description for a free quote from them today. Um, hi, I'm Heather Chambers. I am a sports medicine orthopedic surgeon. I went to medical school at Texas A&M. Uh, I also went to undergrad there. I did my residency in Fort Worth, Texas, and then now doing my uh, orthopedic sports medicine fellowship in San Antonio, Texas. Uh, what is a sports medicine doctor, uh, orthopedic surgeon? What do they do? Uh, so we fix um, anything that has to do with it, bone and joint problems. Um, more specifically for active individuals. So people who want to get back to doing activities such as running or uh, even high school athletes that play football or college level. Um, and what is the education required? It requires four years of college, four right. years of medical yeah. school? So it's, it, to get here it's 14 years total. So after high school you have four years of college, four years of medical school, five years of residency, and then one year of fellowship just to specialize into sports. Okay, and what is a typical day for you? Kind of starts at what time and ends at what time? Sure, so we usually start uh, somewhere between 6 and 7 in the morning um, and we operate a couple of days a week, uh, do several cases during the day, and then some days we go to clinic where we see our patients. Okay, what type of surgeries do you perform? Um, so specifically for sports, uh, we do mostly knee and shoulder surgery. So we do a lot of knee um, meniscus work or ACL surgery, uh, which is the ligaments inside the knee. And then we also do shoulders where you know people have dislocated their shoulder and we have to repair it. Um, or rotator cuff, which is the muscles that kind of help move the shoulder around. Okay, so you're an orthopedic surgeon, but you did a fellowship in sports medicine. Mm -hmm. um, and if one wanted to work with a sports team, how does that work? If you okay. sports medicine, orthopedic surgeon, you wanted to do work with a professional team or a college team, sure. high school team? Yeah, um, so in fellowship, we do get the chance to work with a lot of um, uh, teams. We uh, cover high school football teams, um, and then we also cover our, any of the local colleges um, and professional teams that are local as well. Um, if you wanted to get into that, um, like I am about to start my next phase where I have my own practice, I just contacted the local high school um, and offered my services to come and cover their games and they were more than happy to have me there and make sure that their athletes remain safe. Okay, so basically you're, you go to the, the games mm -hmm. and then if there's an injury such as someone tears their ACL, you're the surgeon that fixes their that's right, yeah. Okay. So I um, evaluate them once you know they, they get injured on the field, they come to the side, I evaluate them there, kind of make a preliminary diagnosis of what I think may have happened, and then I'll see them in my clinic, make sure that we get the proper imaging, and then go from there. If they need surgery, then I'm the one that takes them to the operating room. Okay, and in terms of being a really busy surgeon and kind of balancing kind of family life and kids, mm -hmm. uh, People are inquiring about the medical field, but they're maybe hesitant because trying to have family and kids. Can you talk about that a little bit? Sure, yeah. So um, I have three children, and I have been married for eight years. Um, and it is not, it's not easy, but it's completely doable. I think the best advice I ever got about having a family and doing what I'm doing is that there's never going to be a good time. There's never going to be a time where you say to yourself, I think today I'm going to have children. Because um, if you wait, like some people do, you're going to be much older and, and maybe not get to have the family that you wanted. So whenever you're ready, if you're at that stage in your life, just take the leap and you'll figure it out. It all works out. Okay. Mm -hmm. and what what are other advice you have for people interested in the field of medicine sure. or specifically sports medicine? Sure. So I think honestly, you know, going into medicine, 
I think a lot of people are intimidated thinking that you have to be just super smart to be able to do what we do. And it's not that. You just have to be persistent. You have to be dedicated. You have to show up. You have to be willing to learn. You have to be willing to make mistakes and admit your mistakes and then take on you know the next step. Learn from your mistakes and keep going. So tell us about your practice location and if anyone wants to see you in your clinic or uh, see you as a, a patient, how can I see you? Sure. So I'll be starting my practice in Marble Falls, Texas, um, which is about two hours north of San Antonio, one hour west of Austin. Um, and they can contact or look me up online at the Baylor Scott and White um, website, um, or they can call the office and just ask for me. Awesome. Thank you so much.